Hey guys, I'm a water seeker 29. I'm gonna be playing some Minecraft story mode. So in season two, Jesse got to his own town. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna spoil anything else. Now let's just mute myself so we can listen to this. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. Ruben! They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest. Guys, I need to do something real quick. Okay, guys, no, we must resume. Heroes who ever lived. Oh, oh uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Why does Olivia well, sound different? Not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Why is she so different? I'm proud different. of you for finishing it. It took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. <laughs> They're jealous. Um. Oh, are you guys jealous? Are you guys <laughs> jelly? No. Ugh. Of course not. Hey, whoa, whoa, guys, come on. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse. Radar. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused you any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. Oh, yeah, that remember adventure Petra. Scheduled? If you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, oh, thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? 
I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll Are you talking her. about the golden sword? I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. Yeah, looks like Olivia likes radar. Ooh, a cow. At least a cow so balloon. the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. Just we honor madness now. every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstone, here, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I'll try Eligard still by. works at Redstone. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy, you're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Lily, does this animation of, um... Does this animation of my story mode? And Stampy Longhead from episode 6 in season 1, he calls it Bacon Town, not Beacon Town. It was funny. He's like, welcome to Bacon Town. I was laughing. Oh man, I love parrots, the red ones, with colors on it. She's Stampy and Stacy. I realize that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. I'm just gonna look around. Hey, there's Stamp Aid Stacy right there. I'm gonna walk fast. Oh, wait, isn't Mel here? Yeah, Mel's gonna come out. Jesse, dude! I knew it! Mel, I thought you were out seeing the world. Oh, wait, it's Mel, not Mel. Times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic house over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. That looks kind of creepy. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Oh hey, no! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business. Let me just get this clay. Ah, uh, a blank canvas. I don't know what to create. Guys, this might take a while, only because I don't know what to create. Um, hmm, let's see here. What should I create? Hmm. I'm just gonna try to put cool. What's gonna happen is, oh man. Wait, actually that could probably work. I'm just gonna put cool. Okay, no, never mind. It's not gonna work. Oh, 
I wish I thought of what I was gonna make before I got right here. Oh wait, if you if I just put things down, then I could use this to. Oh, I could. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I got an idea. I'll just create a zombie. You see my face very well. You see my face very good, right? Looking at very well, right? Mm hmm. Oh, five seconds to tell me if you see a difference. Hmm. Your nose? I don't know. I mm, really don't see it. <laughs> I can't, I'm making a video. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna make. You gotta look really closely. <clears throat> on the whole face, like, my chin. You do realize I'm making a video, but uh, I guess I could do this. Hmm. Oh, this right here? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was just seeing the difference between my brother. Hmm, I'm gonna try to make a zombie. If it's bad, please don't judge it. Because I'm like literally trying. I'm going to make a baby zombie. Although, it's not going to be a good one. Bro. Oh, no. Come on. I can't even draw the legs. Um, guys. Sorry, if this takes a while, it's just because I'm not ready. Uh, you can see Nell dancing right there. Hmm, let's see here. Wait a second, I actually got an idea how to make a zombie. I'll just make a zombie that's standing up. So what I need is to place down the legs. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And then I'm just gonna. Oh, god dang it. Never mind. Oh, what should I make? Hey, I got an idea. How about we just make, like, a diamond sword? With this dark things? No. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a diamond sword. Diamond sword, here we go. Just gonna add those right there. Come on. And there. I'm just gonna do this. Yup, it's done. It's not a good one, but. It should do. Okay, now. Oh, what's that smell? Nah. I like this. It looks that like a diamond is sword. Sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. 
It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Is she Spanish? She's a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, sorry guys, if that took so long. The Look, there's Stampy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can move. Wait. Mm. Craving seafood? Always. Why? That squid looks so creepy. Let's talk to Stampy and Stacy. Whoa! Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering what we'd run into each other. I thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Famous wink. Minecraft YouTubers. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Okay, give here him a bone. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Uh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. Uh, yep, I I, she's got a busy, point. So we won't keep you. I remember you what's gonna happen. You should what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Is Raider walking with them? Oh no, he's not. <gasps> Ruben, Mo no, Ruben. <laughs> Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh man, I wish I could have met Ruben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my god. What an epic you. game is making oh, die. Yeah, it's me. What are what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth! <laughs> tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most ruben -esque. Oh, man. They're all cute. Oh, pigs are my most Pretty favorite animals ever. Myself. I'm a smushy, cute cheeks fan. He's just got that vibe. Really? Ah, all of those pigs are so cute. Pigs are my most favorite animals ever. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Right, it's a boy? Bye. Sounds like a girl name. Not to be mean. Sugar, nice. Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy, oh. it needs to be pumpkin pie. They the were all the literally. Best. And I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. Oh, they were literally just getting a log. They were literally just getting a log. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. I like cake more. There you go, with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Well, why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Always like to make Stacy happy, although it's I don't true. like pumpkin pie. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles <laughs> all day otherwise. <laughs> no, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that.
Wait, let's find chickens. <laughs> Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. <coughs> I'm gonna go to this crafting table now. Okay, let's look at the recipes. I wanna go with cake first. Okay, so milk, and then let's see what else you need. Okay, some flour, okay, huh, I thought I had the flour, I'm guessing that you put this right here, oh wait no, that's the egg, okay, never mind. And then, egg. and then the final touch. Don't worry, I also have some stuff for some um, pumpkin pie. Oh, you know, is that even how you do it? Oh no! Dang it! I forgot to grab another egg. Cause if I, oh, great, I screwed up. Oh wait, never mind. You have another egg for me, ma'am? No. It's gotta be another thing. There's gotta be another egg somewhere. If I give him the cake, then it's just only gonna make Stampy um um make it's just only gonna have Stampy do the cake for the celebration. Or I meant the the thing celebration. I don't know. I'm confused right now. I'm just trying to focus. Wait, did I even have another egg? Oh, wait, I did. Bro, I didn't. Wait. Frick, I have no flour. Or sugar, whatever that is. Pumpkin pie. Oh man, wait. There we go. So that was what I was not understanding. And then right here, I had to, to get, put the egg right there. And then that right there, and then, wait, what? Okay, then I guess this is how it's gonna go. It's gonna go right here, then the egg goes right here, and then we create the pumpkin pie. Okay, now let's go back to the room and um, give He both. said cake, she said pie, and I said, why don't we just have both? <laughs> that. This is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Nice to see that they're getting along. I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! What you looking at, citizen? Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> Jesse. Wow. Hi. Huh. Just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? Huh, could maybe use yeah. a bit more wool, I guess. More wool, of course! <laughs> Why didn't I think of that stupid? Now, just to get back up there! <laughs> Uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Literally, I don't even know what they're looking at. No, I don't think so. I have no idea what he looking at. Ooh, I like this. Jesse! Hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day. Oh, Can't Founding go. Day. It's gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematic, didn't you, Bob? Sounds, sounds great. Awesome, let's do it. We're gonna be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Whoa! Because I miss Ruben. Because I like all of them. Oh, nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. <laughs> nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Well, people just already did the belly flop. It'll be great. People no, did the Jesse! belly flop. So we're gonna do. No. The double twist. Oh, dang! Ta da! Thanks, everyone. The belly Jesse, flop is when he blo is The incredible. belly flop is when he bounces Seriously, on the slime time. and it Thank does a front flip. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Okay, now. Wait, what? Now it's time to go over there. Wait, are they still in this thing? Are they still doing this? Let's see if we could talk to them. Oh no, I can't. Looks like I'm gonna be heading with radar to the mines. I meant to Petra at the mines. She says that radar is gonna be wishing me good luck. Mines. Sorry, that took a bit long. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. <laughs> oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly Welcome was. To Beacon Town. Stopping to help all those people, helping them prepare for Founding Day. Very inspiring. I remember some llama breaks that iron. Uh, um, keep watch on breaks that iron. Off doing um, your adventure chest place. Risking your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> I won't let you down. I'm always saying all the nice stuff. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? One thing I'm trying to wonder out is what happened to his diamond sword? That's I'm sure huh? he uses a. Oh, a she said to meet right here. And so in this right here, he uses a <gasps> redstone. In this right here, he uses the iron Petra. sword. Where are you? No. Zombie. <laughs> you guys are going down. Oh, I missed this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get me. Nope. Yeah. And stay down. Well, you're late. But at least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. 
Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me... your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? I'll always make time for you. Weird, okay. I yeah, don't know why I put I that... guess. But now that you mention it, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Three? Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... He's writing. I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now... You're right. It is lame. It just isn't the same without them. See, I knew you'd get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. Thanks. Ow. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Okay, if you say so. Really square. X. X. Run! Oh, it's Zombie Steve. Steve! Look out! Wall spiders! I see him! Take that! You got nothing on me. Yeah. Still did iron everywhere. And Petra's in the home stretch. Ah, jeez, more of these guys. I know she's going to win, but I need help her. I turned to save you, Petra. Even in a weird kind of way. No. Catch me if you can, he freaks. Oh, no, you don't. 
Gonna win the totally race, but I needed her. <laughs> I'm back. Hey, no I knew fair. she was gonna win, but I needed to help her. So basically, I should be the one winning. Oh yeah! In your face! Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! Uh, cheater, much? I totally saved you back there. Oh! Oh, yeah! You're right. Sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. A lava is just supposed to sound like a terrifying monster. Sounds like a terrifying monster who's giving birth. A llama? A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, a uh, treasure sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Uh? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Oh no! Why did I do that? Come on! Come on! Uh, uh, see? <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Oh, gross. Come on, let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. I'm just gonna. Hmm, I'm gonna do right here. Jesse told you I'm not the mayor I'm the leader and hero in residence I know I know it's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things call a shovel a shovel am I right <laughs> what the heck did you get up there who knows but it's coming down now Oh. 
What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. didn't come with an instruction manual. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Okay, ow, wow, stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Yeah, maybe it was down here waiting for me. That's just unsettling. Uh oh, get off the pyramid quick! Oh! Control Petra right there also. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. Probably put the gauntlet in it. Uh, on second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came though. Oh. There, come on. Understand how do they get up from right there? They can't just stick their hands on the ceiling and just move it, because then that means that means they've been bit by a radioactive spider. <laughs> no, actually no. And they can't jump high. So close to Beacon Town. Here, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Because it's actually true. Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> What do we do about all this? Why just start yelling? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in like monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. And there's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was 
That was really bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. First, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know, but this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh... It's been not great. I can't believe this person tricked you. It's terrible. It's so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama. Her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. I can smell a bully from a mile away, Petra, and I don't let bullies go being smelled on my watch. <laughs> You're one what? of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! <laughs> that must be the llama. That Petra is holding right now. This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? More like Llama City. Good one. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, good one. Almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well. Hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. What the heck? for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, well that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit. Come on, you. Luna, my darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? 
No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. Ooh. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. No, no, no. No. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd Oh, little offer. puppies are cute. Heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't you stop talking already? Your voice is exhausting me. Sword. I want sword. <coughs> My sword. Preposterous. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was very clear. I made <laughs> trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You <coughs> came to me, remember? <gasps> In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. <gasps> Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. <coughs> Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. <coughs> if you ever want to play some Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I, yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm going to get my sword back. I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but. That's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Remember when Stacy gave me those bones? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I want to fight, though. Roll in, fight the bodyguard, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get out! Fire it up. I don't like you. <laughs> Not a fan of yours either. You still really need to talk about that. You know, for a tiny guy, he's not just to you. Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, just you. I'm trying. Have a conversation here. <laughs> this whole champion city thing's kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey, what's going on out here? Uh... <laughs> so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yikes. What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? What did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. 
Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Well, what about loyalty, huh? To your friends? The people who take care of you? Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, well, sponge blocks. I remember a in episode o? seven yep. they had All arguments. Other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep though. Should be No! Wait, what? Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here. <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival! Says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? Couldn't stop me if you wanted to. That sword is ours. So, Classy, just remember that you had to beat up on an innocent, beautiful civic leader to get it. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. I really don't know what rival means. So good to have you back. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I already know I don't deserve this back. Oh, I can't stay angry at you, Petra. I'm really disappointed, but I forgive you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I don't that gun was getting creepy. What is that? Well, I like this part because we get to fight. Ah! The sign didn't stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell Wait, them that. Have didn't he have an iron sword? Now he has a stone sword. Yeah. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse! So good to have you back. We get to use the gauntlet to punch. Oh no, you don't! Would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome. Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. Wow, we're master builders. I don't know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. <laughs> the 
see a guy about a thing.